Bueno, amigos, eh, tenemos ni más ni menos que a Todd McFarlane aquí en Juego Juegos y Colecciones. Oh, thank you for this. Sure. Mm. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Yeah. Now, McFarlane Toys is uh, 25th years now. Yep. It's uh, a milestone year for, for, for you. Please guide us through the, the, the history. How, how, what, what has been in these 25 years? So, so, let's see if we can go fast. 25 years ago, the company started on one simple question. Why, why can't the action figures look better? I, I'm, I'm a collector, I'm a geek, and I just walk down the aisles and I, and I, I wouldn't buy them. I, I didn't think they looked good artistically. Now, I'm an artist, right? I, I worked at Marvel Comics and DC Comics, did Superman and Batman, co-created Venom, and then later on started another company and created Spawn. So I like comic books. And so as an artist, I, 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 I couldn't get my head wrapped around the toys. I, and so I decided when Spawn came out, people wanted to do toys. I didn't think that Hasbro and Mattel and Playmates and all the companies back then would do the toys the way that I thought, which was, I think we need to make non-traditional toys and we need to sell them in non-traditional places. As you know, big companies like to do it their way and sell it in the places that they know. So I just went, no, nah, let's just start a company, right? Let me tell you, making toys is not that difficult. Don't let them tell you that it is, right? It's, it's plastic in a shape. And so all the detail, all the credit that we ended up getting, and the one thing that put us on the map was I just wanted to do realistic, hyper detail, lots of paint, and make it look exactly like what you might see in a poster or yeah. on a TV show or on the movies, or right? Yeah. All, like you could see with your own eyes. I want it to match. So the question is, why didn't it match? For the big boys, you're gonna have to go interview them. Mm -hmm. And so when we did it, it became, a big, it became a big deal. So all of a sudden everybody went, oh, if you want detail, you gotta go to McFarlane. And so we then became the, a company that was the go-to company and then other companies now if you walk around Toy Fair have copied what we do which is okay because that means better toys for everybody the consumer and and our job now is to just come out with as many good properties that people will want and keep the standard of the quality up but at the same time keep the price as low as possible quality up prices low why because I, I used to buy and I didn't have much money when I was a kid and so I I, I I just remind myself of who I was when I was younger and assume that everybody else that's buying my product is the same. So um, so now we're having a bit of a uh, resurgence. We're going to be doing some of, the, some of the logos you can see back there. We're going to be doing some of the retro old school stuff that put us on the map. Just so if anybody knew who we were, they're going to go, oh my gosh, we're bringing back some of the brands. But then we also have some of some big brands like Fortnite. Some of you guys may have heard of this little tiny game. Yeah. Uh, we got Fortnite. We're going to be doing uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, the Walking Dead. And wa Walking Dead. We've got uh, uh, Stranger Things. We do the video games, right? Call of Duty. Um, and yeah. lots, of, lots of them. Destiny. You can see Destiny, some of it Cuphead. here. We've got, we've got anime, manga. Right, so we've got a bunch over there you can see, something like yes. My Hero Academia, they said is sort of bubbling. Yes. Um, we just announced on Monday Harry Potter, right? Harry Potter seems to be bubbling and uh, having a resurgence. And then on Tuesday, we announced the DC Multiverse. And, so. that, and, to, and to me, as a comic book guy, right? I mean, that, that's my first business. That's my, I go, wow. For years, I go, how come I can't do any Marvel or DC or Marvel or DC or Star Wars? I'm like, I'm I, everybody else in this place. And now, finally, after 20 years, they finally said yes. So I get to do a piece, a piece so, of it. I know it's very early in the um, on the development stage. Yes. But people would like to know about DC. Okay. Um, I don't know what's the, the approach. What what can you tell us? decide what you already said right so 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 here's what I can tell you right now that I mean the moment we the moment we leave Toy Fair mm -hmm. we're going full tilt why the contract starts in 2020 right so I'm not going to waste any time which means my goal is to try and have DC multiverse toys on the shelf might not be January 1st because the stores might be closed for New Year's yeah yeah but January 2nd That's All my right. goal, January 2nd. Okay. The boxes will be there on January 1st. You can buy it on January 2nd. Matter of fact, if you're a collector store, you should open up on January 1st. 
and hopefully I'll have toys for you to sell. Um, but what I want to do is a wide range of them. And so what I don't, I don't want to do is just specifically super realistic, hyper detailed toys. We're going to do those right. because that's my reputation. And, but I can do those with one arm behind my back and my eyes closed. Right? That's easy. I want to give a variety of looks with each one of the characters so that then the consumer, the customer, can pick which one they want. Because not everybody is a comic book collector, right? Yeah. And so if you look at the amount of money they're making on these movies these days, between the last couple like Venom and, and Aquaman, right? Both making a billion dollars worldwide. Those aren't comic book collectors. They're just people who like the thought of superheroes and action movies and people in costumes. So I need to appeal to a wide range of people, not just the collectors. So if you like, for instance, Flash, I'm hoping that over the course of the year, maybe at any given time, that there may be anywhere between one and five different versions of Flash that are all distinctly visually different. All right. And then just let the customer pick which one they want. So do you want the Flash that looks like he's from the comics? Or do you want the Flash from the movie? Do you want the Flash from the, the TV show? Yeah. Do you want the Flash from the video game? Or do you want the Flash from the cartoon animated show? Those are all different looks. And my yeah. job should be to at some point give all of those opportunities to the fans and let them pick which one that is their favorite. Uh, and and then do that for as many characters as I can. So I, I want I want to I want to have fun, and I want and I want to do super realistic, cool stuff in big boxes. It might be a little more expensive, and and, and a bunch of stuff in between. So yeah, right. we'll see. Well, uh, I we know you're busy, so we're gonna let you go right now. Okay. Uh, well, well, well. Just just a sneak peek on Harry Potter. I yes. already saw what what's 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 here, but uh, we want to. We have more. From you. We have more. So I mean, we, we have, have the. the uh, can I can I say what what I saw? I mean, I, sure, sure. Okay, I, um, the, I, hay una figura y viene el patronus y está in, increíble y Voldemort tiene el capa de tela. So I said, so what, what is in the Spanish? Which is the, the figure includes the patronus and Voldemort has a fabric, uh, yeah. uh, a robe, but um, and a snake. And this will be available on summer. Right? We're, we're, yeah, we're, trying, we're going fast on Harry Potter, so as soon as possible. So it's either going to be summer or early fall. Yes. Okay. Well, Todd, thank you very much. Congratulations no. on 25 years oh. and more on. And I got 25 more in me, right? So, I'm still course. young. I'm Easy. still young. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Easily, you have 50 more. But uh, Spawn, the, the new film. Um, the, right now, yeah. we're doing a polish. We're doing a polish on the script. Right, Hollywood moves pretty slow, right? Yeah, so yeah. it doesn't move as fast as comic books and as fast as toys, right? So it's a little <laughs> frustrating. But okay. we've got we've got somebody doing a polish. Uh, there's money waiting on the sideline that is that is not from Hollywood. We're hoping to hook somebody in from Hollywood in advance of that. But either way, whether whether we make a deal in Hollywood first and then make the movie, or we make the movie and then get Hollywood, either way, we're making this movie, yes. right? So I'm hoping that. The, by the time the screenplay is done and we go do our meetings, I'm hoping within the next six weeks to eight weeks, we will have a big announcement that we're basically we're starting to move. We're going. We got to go. Got to make this movie. And then I'm coming to Mexico because I go. Yes. Like, look, look at. Let's look at. Go. I'm Canadian, so America. Let me just say, America has lots of premieres and movies and famous. Forget it. It's time to go to other countries yeah. and have a good time because. Other countries are the ones that are making these movies big and popular, right? And so I want to come, when I come to Mexico, I want to come to Mexico knowing that I can either show you a clip of the movie that nobody else has seen right. or, and or maybe bring some of the cast with me Whoa, that and just have, a big, just have a big party. You'll just let me know when you go there and we go for tacos over there. <laughs> I, 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 my treat. Okay. Thank okay. You. Todd McFarlane aquí en Juegos Gets y Coleccionables. Uh, muchas gracias por acompañarnos. Seguimos en Toy Fair. Soy Ricardo Méndez, ver en la cámara. Nos vemos en el próximo.